What's up guys, it's your boy D here back at it again with another video. So I know I've been MIA on my personal channel for a bit now just because I haven't felt motivated. I know if you guys follow me on social media, if you follow Geeks of Color, you know I've been over there for a little bit and as well as Collider Games, I do streams and stuff like that. But just haven't felt motivated to really put content on my own channel. But I have been feeling a little bit better lately and the world's been going to shit so I just felt like I might as well just start posting the stuff that I've been working on or having the back catalog that I'm ready to just post and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you soon for more content no promises on like the consistency you know this is my channel I'll do post when I feel like it I'm not trying to like become like that YouTube or whatever but I do want to show you guys some of the content that I've been making so I hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for more videos peace up a town down what's up guys it's your boy D here back at it again with another video so today is a big day for me because oh hold on let me get back in this lighting I'll talk about all that stuff in there in a little bit, but I'm getting ready to interview Christopher Nolan and John David Washington for Tenet And just me even saying that alone, I'm still in disbelief. The fact that I'm getting to do it is pretty awesome We and RB3 drove down to Los Angeles. No, we were living in Los Angeles We drove down to Las Vegas to go see the movie and drove back the same day But yeah, getting ready to go. You get to see the little behind-the-scenes process. I'm pumped, baby. This is Dorian with Geeks of Color I just want to say, first of all, thank you guys so much for sitting down with me. It is an honor, an absolute honor to, to be talking with you guys. So I just want to jump right in. My first question is for you, Mr. Nolan. Across the board, across all your movies, time usually plays a big factor from inception to memento and all of that. So what made you put time aversion to the forefront of Tenet? And when did that idea come along? Well, Tenet has a few things in it that I've been working on for a very long time. Uh, the seed of the idea really is this notion of a you know, bullet getting sucked out of a wall and back into the barrel of a gun. Um, and if you look back at, at Memento, uh, one of my first films, you see that kind of in, used for symbolic, uh, that image used for symbolic purpose or kind of structural approach to, to time. Um, but I'd always wanted over all these years, I'd wanted to sort of take those kind of ideas and make them a physical reality that the characters and therefore the audience could sort of engage with. Uh, I think time is just a fascinating thing. I mean, we live in it, it defines our lives. We all kind of know what it is, but we can't explain it or understand it or really engage with it intellectually. And the movies, I think, have a great relationship with time. The movie camera itself, the way it records time on a reel of film, and it can be run backwards or forwards. It can be slow or it can be fast. I think there's just a great relationship with between time and, and movies, and I've been interested in exploring that for a long time. Absolutely, and, and my first question for you, John David, is when you initially read the script, did you get a better understanding? Like, did you get a new appre appreciation for time? And what was your initial reaction just to reading the script in the first place? Uh, well, it took me four hours to read, um, so I, I appreciated time <laughs> and the script for that, you know, the hour, I, I, like for an hour after I read it, because I thought I, got, I understood it. And then as the day went on, I realized, oh, I didn't understand anything I just read. But uh, I, I definitely do. And, and just seeing it, you know, I, you know, from time cop to back to the future, which this isn't, this is not, but, but uh, I, I've always loved uh, movies and cinema when they, when in dealing with time. And in this case, you know, it, it was bringing a whole bunch of genres to the, to the, to the blender and, and, and stirring it up. So um, for that was, uh, was a lot of fun at the prospect of being able to, uh, to capture all of that together. And I'm getting the wrap up sign. So this is Geeks of Color. I couldn't let you go, John David, without putting out a little fan cast. So we've already got Patterson as Batman. When can we see you as Green Lantern in the future? Would you be down to play that role? Ask him. <laughs> Can we get a Nolan director Green Lantern movie, please? <laughs> there you go. I, 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 I think my DC days are over, but <laughs> I think he would be an excellent choice. It certainly, uh, certainly gets my vote. Oh. Well, I want to say thank you guys so much for sitting down and talking with me. I absolutely love the movie, and it is truly an honor to get to talk to you guys, so thank you so much. I, I took off my shirt, but I just wrapped up my interview with Christopher Nolan and John David Washington, and I just can't believe it. I really, truly feel like I'm about to cry because Nolan is one of my favorite directors, and John David Washington is one of my favorite actors, even though he hasn't, he's still up and coming. No, he's not up and coming. Like, your boy has been killing it and all the stuff that he has done, but he's not, he hasn't been on the game for a long time, is what I mean, but... Probably, if not one of the, the biggest interviews I've ever done in my career. And to be here, and I've worked so hard, so to, to be here at this, this stage in my career, I'm just extremely grateful. And I know I wouldn't be here without the team and my family and my support backing me the whole time. And just, oh my God, like I interviewed Christopher Nolan and John David Washington, bro, for 10